This video will show an example doing the Huntington Hill method of apportionment. So the county school board is dividing teachers between five high schools. The county can hire 175 teachers. So we have our same student populations, which sum to the 4,875 students. Our standard quota is found by taking our student population divided by the number of teachers. We get the 27.85. That was our standard divisor. So our standard quotas are found by taking our student population divided by the standard divisor. And we saw, if we just look at the lower quotas, they don't sum to enough. They only sum to 174 teachers. So we have to do different apportionment methods. So to do the Huntington Hill method, what we do is we look at both the lower and the upper quotas. So a neat feature in Excel is the round down function, which will round each number down to the next integer. So if we click on our standard quota comma zero to show zero decimal places, it will round each of these numbers down. And then similarly, we have the round up function. So if I do equals round up, click on that number, and then zero showing zero decimal places, it will round each one of these numbers up to the next integer. So to do Huntington Hill, we need both the lower and the upper quotas. And then we find the geometric mean of the lower and upper quotas. To do the geometric mean, we take the square root, which in Excel is the SQRT function, and we do the lower times the upper. So we're looking at the square root of our lower quota times our upper quota. And with cell references, it's not too bad to do this. So here's the one part we do have to do by hand. To assign the number of teachers, we've got to compare our standard quotas to our geometric mean. If the standard quota is lower, we're going to go with the lower quota. If the standard quota is bigger than the geometric mean, we're going to go with our upper quota. And we're just going to do these by hand. So our first one, we've got 31.41 versus 31.49. So the standard quota is smaller. We're going to go with our lower quota. The next one's 41.28 compared to 41.49. So standard is lower, go with our lower quota. Then 43.07 versus 43.49. Again, it's lower, so go with our lower quota. 26.02 versus 26.49, it's lower, so go with our lower quota. And then 33.2 versus 33.4, go with the lower again. So if we sum those, they only sum to 174, so this did not work. It did not assign all 175 teachers. So what we have to do now is play with more modified divisors. So I just already got a number filled in here. Uh, we've got 27.7, so let's just see it and see what happens. I'm gonna change my quotas to instead of dividing by our standard divisor, to divide by our modified divisor. I'm going to drag that down to update the formula so that all of our quotas are divided by our modified divisor. So with cell references, it should have automatically rounded each one of these numbers down using that round down function, and then round each of them up using the round up function, showing zero decimal places. And then our geometric mean should have automatically updated itself as the square root of lower times upper. So what we need to do is look at the teachers assigned. So for our first one, we've got 31.58 versus 31.49. So now our standard quota is bigger, we go with the upper quota. Then 41.5 versus 41.49, again the standard is bigger, so we go with our upper quota. 43.3 versus 43.9, our standard is lower, so we go with our lower quota. 26.1 versus 26.4, again the standard is lower, so we go with the lower quota. 33.3 versus 33.4, our standard is lower, go with our lower quota. And that gave us 176 teachers. So that did not work. It gave us one too many. All right, so we need to now find a different modified divisor. So let's go in and maybe let's try 27.75, just something really close. So everything automatically updated for us. We adjusted our standard quotas got our lower and upper and our geometric means. So now let's compare. 
So 31.5 is still bigger than 31.4, so we go with our upper. 41.44 is smaller than 41.49, so we go with our lower. 43.24 is smaller than 43.49, so we go with our lower. 26.12 versus 26.49 is lower. And then 33.3 .3 versus 33.4 go with our lower. And that one worked. So this would be the apportionment using the Huntington Hill method, and we had to use a modified divisor of 27.75.